welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. I am here to do your June 2017 general reading. Those of you that are new to the channel, welcome. And thank you guys so very much for taking the time to subscribe. Um, please just keep in mind, guys, that the reading does not resonate with you. Look at your moon, your rising signs. I am using Legacy of the Divine this month. By Cyril Marchetti, amazing deck. Capricorn. I have prayed over your cards already for love, wealth, health, happiness. June Okay, so still going to do this Celtic cross spread, um, as always. And um, you know, if the reading doesn't resonate with you, you know, absolutely look at your moon, your rising signs. And I also wanted to mention, too, that um, for every um, thousand subscribers that I get on YouTube, I pick a Facebook winner for a free rating just like this. It's a $100 rating. Um, clarifiers, love cards. So, yeah, those, those of you that, you know, just want to get in on that, um, I will leave the link below. It's not the group page. You know, I won't even leave that link. Um, it's, you know, just to my regular Facebook page. Somehow, a friend of mine actually, when I brought it to Facebook, created it for me and it's just still there. And I do post on it, but in heaven, if you want to, you know, get on to both, absolutely. Okay, just giving you guys, you know, a heads up, you know, just, I'm giving you guys a chance. I am, like, wait, I'm, I'm late with everything this month. I mean, this back issue really put me over the edge, but, um, maybe you guys, maybe I didn't tell you guys, um, Friday I, pulled my back out so Saturday I accomplished nothing it's one of the reasons why the monthlies are late I do apologize Saturday I spent in bed on the heating pad like all day nothing oh what a waste of a day but much better now okay so the overall energy guys nice is the Empress so the Empress You know, if you if you are a um, you know a woman that has been you know trying to conceive you know or wants to conceive, you know, definitely go for it this month. You know, this is that very fertile energy. You know, no matter if you're male or female, you know this is you being very creative. You know, it's a great time to start something new. The Empress is a very you know, blessed energy, you know, so whatever it is that you start this month, it will be, you know, extremely rewarding for you, no doubt, no matter what it is. Now you start off the month with page wands. Nice. So this is a very important communication, exciting communication. You know, it could be something very passionate that you're very passionate about. This could be communication that you're waiting on because, you know, I do have the hangman here. And... Okay, so, you know, there could be, for some of you, this could be a really exciting communication, and you know that it's coming. 
but maybe this is just a little bit of a weight attached to this. You know, I do see a lot of communication being very important, you know, with the energy of the hanged man here. You know, the hanged man, for some of you, you know, this is you just waiting on that communication. You know, that really does most likely allow for you to move forward in some way. You know, it's something that you are very passionate about. It's very exciting. You know, the hangman can represent, you know, that, just that, that limbo period. Um, you know, that period of suspense. You know, for some of you, you know, this is you maybe even needing to, you know, take a step back. Needing to take a break. You know, sometimes, you know, with this energy, you know, you need to just step back. <coughs> you know, look, I'm so sorry, Capricorn. Now, you know, aside from, you know, having the cold last time, last week, now I think I'm allergies. So I do apologize every time I cough. I just, I apologize. I really, I really want to get these out to you guys. But with the hangman, you know, just, you know, stepping back, you know, looking at the larger picture as a whole. You know, but there could be, you know, something that you're missing, maybe even there could be just maybe even some sort of enlightenment that's needed. You know, in the foundation, I have faith. It is called faith in this in this deck, but it is the Hierophant. You know, so for some of you, you know, there could have been a Taurus that could could have been you know, very important or was important. But also this could represent, you know, marriage committed partnerships, large companies, something legal, the government, even very important paperwork, documents. You know, so for some of you, this could be you maybe waiting on some important documents or waiting on communication in regards to this, a marriage, a relationship, or, or something to do with maybe the government, even the com the company that you work for. You know, some of you could have applied for a position, you know, within the company. Maybe you even, you know, got a new job. You know, for others of you, this definitely could be you trying to get promoted within the company that you work for or waiting on communication in regards to a marriage, a relationship, even maybe like legal issues. No, because in the recent past, I mean, in the recent past, I do have the Six of Swords. No, and this is forward movement. No, so for most of you, no, mentally moving forward, you know, moving from stormy, turbulent waters, you know, into much more calmer waters. You know, so, you know, for some of you, you could absolutely have physically um, you know, moved forward. You know, others... You could have, you know, just, you know, moved, moved even toward that, that peace of mind. Physically moved. Some, in some way within your life. 
you moved. But moving forward, you know, moving to a peace of mind. You know, crowning you, I have the two of coins. It's the two of pentacles, is the two of coins in this deck. But um, I'll refer to them as the two of, as pentacles. Um, so yeah, you could have moved forward with something in the past, but now maybe you're waiting, you know, to take that next step. With the Two of Pentacles, this could be you thinking about a decision, a decision that's very important, or maybe there are some of you that you know, you're just simply taking a break you know, with the Hanged Man here, because sometimes this can be even a voluntary energy. You know, so this could be some of you you know, that are voluntarily, you know, literally just taking a break, you know, with the Two of Pentacles, you know, crowning you, you definitely can be you know, weighing your options when it comes to a situation. You know, this could be a relationship situation where maybe, you know, you decide to get a divorce, decide to just move on in your life or, or something like that, or, or maybe move toward that commitment toward getting, getting married. Um, but here crowning you, you know, at the beginning of the month, I, I do see many of you just, <clears throat> you know, really, you know, weighing your options. And then others of you could be, you know, juggling, you know, multiple different things, projects going on. This could be, you know, within the company you work for, you, know, you could just, you, you could really just, just have uh, literally a, a full plate, you know, you know, really just, um, <coughs> really trying, just trying to handle, I'm going to get a drink, a Capricorn, I'm so sorry. But really just trying to handle so many things, okay? Now, coming up, you know, in, the, in the middle of the month, you know, second, third month. Yeah, second, third month. Second, third week. You know, we have the Eight of Wands. I really want you guys to see these cards. Now, the Eight of Wands can talk about communication. You know, so this could be that communication that you've been waiting on, you know, coming through. You know, I do. See, this is a lot of, of passionate, exciting energy here. Because it's wands, it is something that excite that really does excite you. You know, it's something that you have been waiting for, waiting on. You know, for some of you, something you know, that you're very passionate about. You know, with the eight of wands, that this could be a lot of communication. You know, definitely going you know back and forth. Um, you know, or that very important communication coming through that allows for you, you know, for things, you know, to now, you know, move forward. You know, the Eight of Wands, I, I love the, I love the Eight of Wands because it, it is that forward movement energy. It's things, you know, looking up, improving. It can't be that very hasty, you know, fast-paced energy. You know, that could be coming in very suddenly. You know, 
there's a lot going on. No, I, I, you see yourself, I do have justice. No, so for some of you, this is definitely talking about a divorce. We're talking about a marriage. You know, for some, for some of you, you definitely could be literally, I mean, walking down the aisle. You know, maybe you know, this is something that, you know, you've been waiting on. And now all of a sudden, out of the blue, you know, around this time of the month, things are starting to happen, you know, very quickly. You know, with justice here, you know, you could, for some of you, you know, be, you know, signing that contract. You know, it represents something, you know, something legal. You know, for others, for others of you, it can represent a decision that you were waiting on coming through, you know, very suddenly. Justice could be that karmic, it could be that karmic justice. You know, that fairness coming in, you know, that equality coming in, especially if, you know, if you are, are one, are Capricorn that, you know, that has felt that as wronged in some way in the past. Now, how people are viewing you in your environment. We do have the Seven of Cups. Now, the Seven of Cups you know, talks about having several options. You know, so for some of you, some of you, you know, just having many options before you. You know, maybe you, you definitely need to narrow them down. Narrow down your choices because I mean, realistically, only two choices are are realistic. I mean, you know, definitely some of you need to narrow down these these options, those choices. and then for others of you, This is more that illusionary, dreamy type energy. You know, so people around you could definitely be viewing you as a little dreamy or even daydreaming a lot. And then for others of you, you could just simply be desiring. Desiring something greatly with this energy. You know, desiring a person, a relationship, a marriage. You know, you could be desiring something greatly. Desiring that communication. The Seven of Cups can also be, you know, a confused, indecisive energy as well. You know, there could be Some of that, you know, with, with the two of of coins here. You know, you're trying to to make a decision. You know, you're you're weighing your options. You know, maybe feeling a little a little indecisive. Um, maybe. Um, <clears throat> I'm so sorry. Maybe, um, if you are feeling that, I do feel like that will pass. So let me just say that first. I think that is all I want to say about the justice card. And the 
seven of cups. Right. So now you are moving past that. You know, the chariot and your you know and your hopes and fears. You know, this could be you, you know, hoping for that control. Success. You know, hoping for things to move forward. You know, the chariot is the ultimate victory and success card. You, know, you being in control. You know, you're moving forward. And this is what you're hoping for. And that's awesome. Chariot's awesome in this deck, right? Now you're leaving the month with the Page of Swords. So the Page of Swords, this can represent very important communication coming through at the end of the month. Now, this could be maybe this could be maybe you know you were trying to make a decision, right? With the two of pentacles here. You know, and making And making a decision, you know, having to make a decision with the hanged man here, you know, you could have voluntarily taken a break or some time out because maybe, maybe you were trying to make a decision so that this could be you at the end of the month communicating that decision to someone. Or for others of you, this could be communication communication coming through at the end of the month. With the energy of the Empress here. This could, this could even be communicating in regards to your mother. You know, a motherly figure. Um, the Empress represents that new beginning. You know, you giving birth to something new. You know, I definitely see a lot of communication coming through this month. It's very important. You know, justice is the yes card. A yes answer. So for some of you, this is that communication in regards to a decision. I, I, I do. I do see a lot of communication and things moving forward. You know, with the Hierophant here, it's, it does speak of a card of faith. Really, you know, keep the faith here with the Hierophant. You know, remain positive. You know, this is absolutely a great month to do wands under that too. New path. It's a great month to start new projects. I do see you very creative. Now, for a small number of you, it could be a situation dealing with three people. And for some of you with the Two of Pentacles, this could be, you know, you juggling two people. You know, if you can 
you know, relate to this energy in that way, I do see you making a decision and moving forward, you know, trying to, you know, narrow it down. You know, if it, you know, if you were juggling several partners, I definitely, you know, do see you narrowing it down. Definitely. But definitely being very creative. I'm going to pull you an additional guidance card. Messages from, or, sorry, Magical Mermaids and the Dolphins. Well, who might argue? They both want to come. And a Romance Angels card, also by Doreen Virtue. I really don't feel the need to clarify anything. Positive energy. Surround yourself with positive people and situations and avoid. And we just talked about this. It's amazing. Cards always want to come out, come out for a reason. That means keeping the faith. You know, interact with people that, you know, that are positive, that are even spiritual, you know, that are going to keep you positive. You know, just avoid negative people. You know, this, this card really does ask you to go on a negativity diet, literally right down to negative people, articles in the newspaper, you know, just anything negative. Morning affirmations say, ever see everything is about positivity. Stay positive. Positive affirmations each morning to open the gates of manifestation. Positive thinking attracts positive results. And I believe me, I know that's easier said than done a lot of times, Capricorn. Most of the time. But for you this month, me too, my moon signs in Capricorn. It's very important. You know, it's not just here. I mean, I feel like it's, you know, very, very important because, you know, you know, it's two cards here telling us that and it's here too. So every, every single one of us, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising, that's it. And um, if it's a new relationship, this, whoever, you know, you, I think I get the sense you already know who your choice is in relationships. You're definitely going to narrow, and if not, for sure, for sure, you are going to narrow it down because you, you know deep down in your heart which one is the one. And trust your intuition, really. Trust your intuition. Follow your heart. Because you've already met the romantic partner you seek and that person could be the one. Okay, Capricorn? Love it. Awesome. Beautiful. Hope this reading helps you guys out for the month. I do apologize again for getting these out late. Never this late. But, you know, I feel like as long as you're within the week, we're good. But... You know, still uh, doing nothing Saturday, really. And my private readings, you know, they got to come first. You know, they've paid, but I'm getting them out. Slow but sure. Okay, Capricorn, I will see you guys back here shortly. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.